Okay, so I think one of the most popular things that everybody asks about the Dark Zone Viewer is how to export mesh. And there are two ways to actually export mesh. Um, actually, uh, there may be multiple ways to export mesh. You have the Collada export and the OBJ export, or the object export, as I like to call it, because it's easier to say than OBJ. Um, it is pretty much the same way we exported the Prim and Sculpt, except for we can't and will not do it in XML format. Um, you can XML export mesh um, for OS sims, but um, the mesh will only come in as a temporary mesh, so only you will see it. So I guess that would work if you're in a rush and you want to just grab everything out of your, um, grab everything real quick, you can XML export it, take it to your sim, and then slowly export it the way you need to, but only you would see it, no one else would. It would just come up as circles or something like that. So the proper way to export it is to export it as a day or as an OBJ um, object. So let's start with when um, something like clothes. So I'm gonna export this dress I have here. You just right click on it, scroll down to save as, and then as Collada, and that will bring up the mesh export menu and it will ask you what format you want you um, you want to make sure that you have the box these boxes checked the save textures the consolidate textures apply texture params um, this let's say is, well pretty much most part self-explanatory this saves the textures uh, this saves the coordinates on the textures and I think this does the same that, that's what this one does this um, is the texture coordinates and I'm not sure what this is but make sure that these three boxes are checked you want to make sure the skip transparent texture boxes unchecked because you know sometimes people use textures with alphas in there and you don't want those to be missing um, the texture format, it will ask you what format you want to save it in. Uh, JPEG 2000 is JP2 format, and that's the traditional uh, format for Darkstorm or Copybot viewers to export things into. You'll notice that if you were to export something with the assets, it'll be in JP2 format instead of something like a t uh, TGA or a ping. Or, um, so that's what this one is and we'll come back to that later because there's something special about that format uh, but for the most part you are going to select ping because that's the most the easiest editable one in photoshop or whatever and it's just one of my favorite formats so we're just going to select save as and we're going to hit enter and save now to ensure that you have a successful um, mesh extraction because sometimes the textures don't save all the way you want to make sure that your title the name of the file does not have any special characters and about special characters I mean like uh, this um, you know commas brackets lines equal signs plus dots semicolons um, whatever asterisks especially asterisks Help. you know these these are all special characters make sure none of those are in the name when you are exporting it because that'll make either y'all know all your textures will come out and you'll get the mesh or you'll get all the textures and no mesh or it just won't happen at all so to make sure you just name it something simple like dress and then name the folder what the you know add the special characters to the folder name and then that would have it export um, hair is a different beast altogether. I always say that you should res the hair onto the ground because sometimes when people import the mesh, um, it's in parts or it will be balled up into like a bundle of hair and it's unusable. It won't look anything like this. So the best thing you can do is to export, I mean, uh, drop your hair or your uh, yeah drop your hair onto the ground and have it in this state and then do the saving of it so i'm just going to save it so this right here is what i uh the prime example of a special character so you want to remove that from there and hit save um that's just one way if you want to export it especially something that's really high triangle count that comes out uh, jumbled or messed up. I know some of those uh, gotcha pawn items are the main culprit of that. And if you try to export it, it'll come out broken or have 
double faces or something like that, you may not be able to export it as a day. Instead, you'll have to export it as an object. So you would just right click on it, go to Darkstorm, and then save as OBJ and then hit save. Same rule applies for the characters. So you want to make sure there's no special characters inside of it when you're saving it as an OBJ. The downside to saving it as an OBJ is that the textures don't come with it. So you'll have to manually export the textures from it. So you would just right click on it and then um, Darkstorm, DS Textures, save to disk. And let me see, you would save it here and they will save to your desktop I mean wherever you, well wherever you had them saved to they will save there and they'll be in jp2 format and you'll need to convert them into ping or whatever so you can edit the textures if that's what your goal was if for whatever reason you try to select yourself like say um, these were those fancy mesh feet and you want to export them uh, and you won't let you, like you can't select it. You have to res them on the ground. If they give you that self delete script where it says, this is for wearing, not for resing or something like that. You'll have to go to a sim where scripts are disabled and then res it there and then export it. Now, the very, very downside to all of this is that at the moment, there's no way to export your mesh with the weights. Um, so this, even though I exported this dress, I would just get it as a static mesh without the weights and then you'll have to re-rig it to make it work. So that's the breaks right now. So who's to say that maybe the next update for the next copy by viewer will address this issue, but as it is, you can't take the weights with you. Um, oh, a little thing, mesh bodies will always come out in parts like those slink bodies or materia bodies, stuff like that, will always come broken down into parts. Uh, that's because of the way they're chopped up for the alphas. So when you export it, it comes out in parts. You'll have to put it back together. And I can't do a tutorial on that because I'm so blind. I can't do it right myself. Um, so that's just a little warning. You're not doing it wrong. That's just the way it is. Um, is there anything else about it? Nope, that's pretty much everything there is to know about exporting mesh. Um, so we're going to wrap this part of the tutorial up and go on to the next chapter. So I'll see you there.